Here we are in the Evergreen booth. This is Tackle Warehouse first look from ICAST 2022 in Orlando. Joining me is Cody Meyer and Brett Height, both Evergreen pros, and we're here to talk about some great new products. First up is the brand new Evergreen IR jig. Brett, tell me all about this thing. Yeah, so this is a, a, a jig that's uh, designed by Marizo Shimuzu, which a lot of you guys know. Uh, ball headed jig, got it in three different sizes. 5 sixteenths, 3 eighths, and half. Um, just a ball headed jig. What I like about this jig, you could throw it on eight pound test or even 16 pound test. Not bend the hook out, has super sharp hook, but pretty thin, but not, not too thin. Um, good bait keeper on it. Just a really, really good finesse jig that you can still use a little bit bigger uh, line size on it. Yeah, you, you know, you mentioned the, the hook size and that's kind of gonna dictate your upper limit uh, uh, of, uh, of line that you're going to use on that thing. But, uh, you know, really, this is geared as a finesse jig, but, uh, but can be a really versatile kind of multi-use jig, right? For sure, yeah. You got your hand-tied skirt and, of course, you know, just ever, Evergreen's quality. Um, fit and finish on it. I mean, it's just a really good, whether it's a finesse jig, I put like a Yamamoto double tail on it or a little fat baby craw, depending on how, how fast you want it to, to fall. And in the JDM lineup, they never had the half ounce. They only went up to three eighths. And I'm like, U.S. market, we want the half ounce. So really, really nice jig. And it's just, it's good all the way around. And if that if that hook wire is too heavy, then you can't use an eight pound test on it. So really versatile jig. Absolutely. What are your thoughts on it? You know, so, I mean, like you say, very small, very compact, finesse jig. You know, tournament fishermen, we need a jig like this just to generate bites. And, you know, of course, it's going to be weedless, but this is not too stiff. It's not too light. It's not too stiff. It's perfect. Like Brett mentioned, I like pitching this thing around on that 12-pound, that 14-pound. A really good keeper on here, too, as well. So, you know, when you hang your bait on there, it's a similar keeper to the jackhammer. We're just going to have one but it's gonna hold that, that piece of plastic in place. There's 10 colors, 10 new colors. Uh, Evergreen nailed the color selection. So I've been throwing this now for uh, about six months. Very impressive. I know Brett's had it a little bit longer than that. I know we're both very impressed. And for Evergreen, the quality, this is something that we just needed in the lineup. You know, anglers need a bait like this. Jigs get big bites. There's crawdads everywhere we go. And uh, attention to detail is definitely here, and this is this is a bite getter. This is going to be something to get a lot of bites for you. You know, Cody, it's a it's amazing with the variety of jig head styles, uh, jig types out there. How often I end up having a ball head jig tied on. Yes. It's just so simple, so versatile. You talked, Brett talked a little bit about the hook gauge, um, but when we're talking about hook gauge and line size too, uh, you touched on the weed guard, and really that weed guard, I guarantee you, was chosen down to the number of strands it's amazing how important that can be it really is because if you get something too stiff you're going to miss those fish and then you you're forced to go with the big line so like you say you could pitch it around on brett said eight you know a 10 a 12 pound test clear water and you know what's cool too is the weed guard is going to match the jig so it's really awesome you know i've seen a lot with a solid black or whatever it might be and that just stands out. You want this thing finesse something to get a lot of those bites. And like I say, they, down to a science, you can throw it on the perfect size line, 10, 12, 14, and uh, you're not gonna miss those fish because it's light enough to penetrate the hook, not stiff enough that you're gonna miss a lot of those fish, but it is stiff enough to go through stuff and still make it weedless. Awesome. Attention to detail and versatility is the name of the game with this brand new Evergreen IR jig available for pre-order now at TackleWarehouse.com. All right, up next, we've got some really exciting new colors in a proven fish catcher, uh, one of my favorite square bills. Tell us about it, Cody. Yeah, this is the uh, the S8 tree. Uh, it's a shallow hog, you know, it's a three foot diver. You know, this is an awesome power, you know, crankbait, real heavy thump. This has been a favorite on the California Delta, Clear Lake, for many, many years. People are trying to keep quiet. Uh, but we just, we felt like this is a bait that you go across the country. Brett's throwing it a bunch. I've thrown it a bunch. Gunnersville's caught a lot of big fish. We just needed to add some colors to the lineup. So we added four new colors. You know, I have two of them right here. We have a ghost bluegill here. Really, really awesome, you know. So many places we go, there's so many bluegill. This is a bigger body crankbait, like I say, that runs shallow, 
that you're going to imitate a lot of those big bluegill and you're going to catch a lot of big bass and also just a natural crawdad color you know so you have that clear water maybe it's not that that red you know crankbait style you know pre-spawn you want just more of a natural crawdad color we have that so these are two colors that i'm excited about awesome colors in the shallow hog and uh brett's got a couple as well but definitely a very good crankbait that we both have caught some big fish on absolutely what you got yeah i really like this crankbait what i like fishing around grass and with that heavy thump when you're winding it in, I know if it's fouled with grass. I want to have that heavy thump, so if I feel it, that it stops thumping, I'm going to clear it out, and that's really what we designed this bait for, is that heavy thump fishing around grass, you know it's fouled up. We've got two new colors. This is like a ghost uh, red ear sunfish, just a real, real pretty kind of, more of a kind of a watermelon color than the, than the, than the bluegill one. And then we got one of my favorites, the Crystal Craw. This is like the OG, old school, Northern California killer. Right, right. But Yeah, just uh, got an orange belly on it. But I just love this bait. Like, like Cody says, I mean, it's like a 16, 20 pound test. Go to town and let's start jacking on them. You know, I, I think it's a bait that all three of us have a lot of confidence in, caught some big fish in. Like you said, it is not a subtle square bill. <laughs> no. You know when this thing's working, it, it is thumping and it's calling the big ones. Yeah, and it casts like a bullet too. So, I mean, great casting, heavy, heavy sound and big thump. Some good times on this crankbait. That's new colors in the Evergreen SH3 crankbait, available for pre-order now at TackleWarehouse.com. Okay, we're really excited about the next one because you might have missed it the first time around, but this is the reintroduction of the Evergreen WH8 crankbait. Isn't that right? Tell us what you do with this thing. Yeah, so this is the wild hunch. I got a story for you guys. So my first year on the FLW Tour, uh, fellow Evergreen competitor Justin Kerr out from the West Coast. It was, it was on Table Rock Lake, very tough bite. It was slick, calm. You know, that area is known for the wiggle wart, right? Well, they quit biting the wiggle wart. He actually gave me one of these and uh, said, Cody, throw this bait. This is a huge bait in Japan, and I ended up catching fish on this in the tournament. This is 15 years ago. So this is one of the number one crankbaits in the Japan. You fish it very similar to a wiggle wart. Got a, a real wide wobble. Uh, it's gonna be silent, but this bait is gonna hunt. It's gonna go around. You can see we're gonna have 10 colors of this, all crawdad pattern so 10 colors all crawdad patterns this is one of those crankbaits you're going to want to fish around rock you're going to want to fish it cold water warm water doesn't matter i think it's going to really excel in the cold water but this um, this is awesome and just look at the hook placement here where this where the hook's going to be so the hook's not going to ride all the way up on the body it's going to kind of sit right here it's going to snag less the hookup ratio is going to be really awesome and we got some really cool colors I know uh, last couple of years we've been talking about what craw patterns do we need to work throughout the country. And uh, I know Brett, he's been throwing this a bunch over the last couple of years. Yeah, you know, Brett, this is, uh, this is a bait style, the wart style crankbait that has really seen a huge resurgence. It's been around forever, uh, but the fish are seeing a lot of them. This is giving them a different look, right? Yeah, it's that, it's that wiggle wart colt kind of guys, you know, and, and I mean, yeah, it just like Cody said, it has that, that heavy hunting, but when this thing hits something, the deflection is crazy, and that's, you know, that's what triggers the bite. Um, and the other thing, no rattle. Mm. So, I mean, like in that clear water scenario, like a table rock you're fishing down, you get one a translucent crawl like that with no rattle, a little bit different than what everybody else is throwing. And then, like, this is a straight Ozark killer right here this kind of goldish brown color. I was like, I when I first went to Table Rock a long time ago, they're like, oh, you got to tie on that. I'm like, dude, that thing's ugly, but they freaking bite that thing, man. It. So we got a lot of, like, like Cody said, this is a crawdad driven bait. We got all the right ghost colors, reds, whether we're fishing dirty water or super clear water in it. Okay, I have a question for both of you before we leave the subject of this particular crankbait. The wart style crankbait breaks the traditional cold water mold of a tight wiggling crankbait. Why does this wide wobble crankbait work so well in cold water? So I think, you know, those fish really aren't that active, but they'll get behind the bait, they're curious, and then 
when it deflects off structure, like I say, it's going to be going and going crazy, and all of a sudden you hit a rock and it deflects off maybe two feet to the left. It's a pure reaction bite. And so those cold water situations, we like that tight wobble, that, that tight action. That's what everyone's always preached. But I think when they're running this thing down and they get up behind it and they're looking at it, and all of a sudden it kicks off to the right or to the left, they can't resist it. So it's going to be a pure reaction. They're going to jump on it because when they eat this thing, and that wiggle wart style bait, they eat it. It's not like they're slapping at it, barely getting hooked. It is, get the pliers out, let's get this thing out of its throat because it is gone. Do you, you believe that or you think Cody's <laughs> full of BS? No, no, that, that's a lot of time when you're winding this thing and when you get that strike, it hits a rock and you feel it go two or three feet to the, to the right or the left. And then it's like, oh crap, I got a five pounder on. You know, I mean, that that's when it happens is when, when that thing goes erratic, that's what when that's the money money shot. All right. Well, you heard it from these guys, a proven fish catcher for 15 years. The reintroduction of the Evergreen WH8 crankbait. Uh, get yours for pre-order at TackleWarehouse.com right now. Okay. Next up is something I'm really excited to talk about because. I don't know what to do with this thing, but I guarantee you these two guys do. This is the brand new Evergreen XV5, the X-Over, right? It's over. So this is, to me, it looks like a hybrid jerkbait, crankbait. I don't know what to do with this thing. Brett, please tell us <laughs> where you're gonna put this into play and how it's really gonna change things for you. Uh, okay, so you look at it, it really has a good shad shape to it. You know, like with that deep body, I mean, just the silhouette, it's gonna, uh, has that good big thread fin shad, you know, the ones that those big ones are looking for. And, and you, another thing, it looks more like a, kind of like a shad wrap too. But we all know a shad wrap is probably the toughest bait to ever throw in the wind or period. So the, when this is gonna be on my application and uh, on tour, it's gonna be that colder water. This thing has a tight, tight wobble. Um, you know, when they're real kind of lethargic, you know, and you're trying to match that hatch. And you can get this thing down four or five feet, you know, on eight to 10 pound test. And after you get it down there, you can twitch it a little bit, stop, start it. And it just kind of has a erratic action, but it is that tight, colder water kind of st style deal. But you can use it as a jerk bait after you get it down there too. Is it, is it a floating or a suspending bait? It's uh, slow, slow, slow floating. Slow, slow floating. Yep. Yes. Okay. Slow floating. How does that influence how you're going to work this particular bait? So what I did when I originally got this bait, you know, just like you, you're looking at this and you're going, okay, it's a hybrid. Is it a jerk bait? Is it a crank bait? You're going to have three hooks on here. Uh, bigger body bait here. So I watched some YouTube from some of the guys from Japan and uh, definitely a colder water bait. But how I started fishing this is I took this thing out, I'm going down the bank, I'm cranking some rip wrap, really cool crankbait. And then I get to like a lay down that's in the water, I pause, it's slowly gonna float up. I'm actually using it as a jerk bait. And in Japan, they're actually pitching this thing up in the cover, up in like some reeds, and they're popping it out. They wind it down a couple cranks, they pop this thing out, almost like you're fishing a jig. And so you have that crank, and then a jerk, you know, crankbait, jerkbait. So it's really, hence the name, the X over. You got the best of both worlds. Uh, we have five colors right now. This is gonna be one where you're going down the bank, you're in a tournament, you're maybe cranking some rip wrap, you're cranking maybe a shallow little bar, and then there's a lay down or there's a bush in the water and you can, you don't have to pick up a jerkbait. You can just pitch this out there and jerk it around that bush, that lay down and get some bites. And I know for me, I've been fishing it this spring, this winter up in Idaho, caught some big fish. Uh, there's a picture down here of a five pounder I caught and uh, just a unique bait. You gotta, when you when you pick this up, go, okay, you, you'll see it's a crankbait, it's a jerkbait, it's both very versatile and uh, some cool colors too. I mean, look at this new this new color, very realistic. We're gonna have five colors, like I said. And cold uh, shad. yeah, cold shad just nailed it with this. And this is something you're gonna have to try because fish have not seen a bait like this. Brett, uh, you know, so often it, when I was first presented with this bait, I obviously didn't know what it was, didn't know what to do with it. So often I find that the baits that I look at and I'm not sure about, I'm thinking whopper plopper. I'm thinking chatterbait. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking Senko. I'm thinking S waiver. 
these are the ones that really end up changing the game. So I'm really excited to see what happens with this bait. Yeah, it's a, it, it's a hybrid bait, you know, it, it really is. And what I like about it is it like Cody hit on, it has the three hooks on it, you know, because you have a lot of body here. You want to make sure you have a lot of hooks on it and it casts really, really good. It's weighted, no rattle, no rattle in this bait. And it's weighted in the back and in the belly here. So, I mean, it, 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 it runs true, sits flat, and it casts good. Very cool. Again, this is the Evergreen XV5 X-Over uh, hybrid jerkbait, crankbait, fish catching machine available for pre-order now at TackleWarehouse.com. All right, it's getting goofy, so thankfully we're on the very last exciting bait here from Evergreen. It's an Evergreen ZR4, the Zerch. It's the arm of God, yes. right? So this is a brand new square bill crankbait from Evergreen. Tell us all about it. Yeah, so it's uh, what I would call um, kind of a 2.0 size, a little bit bigger than a 1.5, not a 2.5, about a 2.0, and you know, gonna run about that three to five foot, depending on your line size. No rattle. So uh, we got 10 awesome colors in this thing. Just a good square bell, really deflects well off wood. You know, I mean, we have the flat force, which I love. That thing deflects really well off, off of uh, rock and stuff. If I'm fishing a lot of like sticks, stumps, brush, I mean, put on the Zerch. You, you know, Brad, it's, uh, you were giving Corey a hard time about it being a square bell. Uh, but it, it, it is kind of a hybrid square bill, isn't it? It's it, hybrid. Yeah, it, it, it has the square sides, but it, it's still a little bit rounded. Sure. Do you, do you think that's the key to the deflection there? I think so, because when if it hits here, the, 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 it, the, the lip's going to make it kind of curve off and, and have that heavy deflection that, you know, like we talked about with the, um, with the WH, to Got get that, that strike. That's how you get those strikes on a on a crankbait. Got it. Cody, thoughts on the Zerch arm of God? Arm of God. So for one, it means the arm of God. Literally, Zerch means the arm of God. So you got to buy it just for that because that is awesome. But it's almost like a coffin-style bill up here. But I have fished this bait. Uh, you know, if you like, like maybe the shallow hog that's really loud, really aggressive, this is going to be silent. So they kind of look similar little bit different body profile, but like Brent mentioned, off of wood, this thing deflects extremely well because of that lip. So it's not gonna just get hung on one thing, it's gonna deflect really well. What I really like, obviously the colors are beautiful. We got 10, bluegill to shad to crawdads, but look at the hook here, the placement here. So for one, you're gonna have this back hook, we don't have it on, but it's gonna you know, not ride up on the body. So it's gonna have a clean sweep around here. Hookup ratio is gonna be really good when these fish come up and eat it. And then it's gonna rest on the body as well. So you're not gonna get that big hook rash up here on the body. Uh, it's gonna go over structure better because of this. Marizo, he has a brilliant mind. He did that here in this little, uh, you can see where he put the hook there, but also hookup ratio is gonna be a lot better. So not only you're gonna snag less, but you're gonna hook more of these fish when they come up and bite this bait. Uh, really cool bait. I've been fishing it for a while now. Uh, this, is, this is one of my favorite colors. California Delta, I fished it this spring, caught some big ones on that <laughs> color. And uh, again, it's a silent bait, 2.0 style size here. Cast this thing really well. And don't be afraid with this. This is one of those, you know, 15, 20 pound test crankbaits here. You're getting shallow here. You're getting in that nasty stuff. You're going to get some of those big bass. Evergreen nails the colors and uh, the arm of God. It's awesome. What, so <laughs> what's really interesting here to me is we talked quite a bit about the SH3 earlier and these both play somewhat in the same area. It's, you know, hybrid hybrid uh, uh, square bill here and then we're, you know, square bill on the SH3, but where the SH3 is loud and wide wobbling and obnoxious, yeah. This is definitely a more stealthy uh, crankbait here. 100%. So there's going to be no rattle in there. So that shallow hog, the SH3, uh, like Brett mentioned, extremely loud. I mean, you feel that thing coming. You're going to have more thump because it's going to have a little bit wider bill. This is going to be more finesse-y 
I mean, it's not a finesse crankbait, but compared to the SH3, but completely silent. So we've all had those bites where maybe there's a lot of pressure, they're eating bigger baits, uh, but you just don't want that rattle. That's gonna be a great one. Like Brett mentioned earlier, the SH3 in grass is phenomenal. This is gonna be really good in grass too, but really excelled around wood. I like to throw a crankbait in wood, feathering it through the wood, you know, where people are maybe throwing a spinner bait. This is gonna get some of those extra bites and uh, just an awesome crankbait, a lot of thought. You know, Evergreen doesn't just come out with the bait and go, hey, I think this is gonna work, let's go. Years and years and years go into each Evergreen bait and uh, they're tested, they're proven. They use, you know, Brett Height's mind, my mind, Marizu, and uh, really want to make it perfect to come out and they nailed it with the Zurch here. Well, what better way to end our coverage in the Evergreen booth than with the arm of God, <laughs> the Zurch, the ZR4, ZR4, right? ZR4, ZR4 yes. crankbait available for pre-order now at Tackle Warehouse. Thank you to our friends, Cody Meyer and Brett Hyatt. This is everything from the Evergreen booth. We'll see you next time. Peace out.